Nehemiah told those guys, he said, fight for your wives, fight for your families, fight for your children, fight for your generation. And every day there's a battle. When we see a world falling apart, when we see families falling apart, we see a generation falling apart, it's because, because somebody has not been fighting the good fight of faith. And I'm telling you, men, you were born for battle. You were born to fight. Some people dream of success while others wake up and work at it. Ladies and gentlemen, it takes just as much faith to take the one step as it does to get to the end of the finish line. And you've got to have your energy to have the faith to finish the race. We've got to step into an arena where we really trust God to lead us and to guide us. But I believe the only person we should trust with all of our heart is Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm just, I'm there. To fight the good fight of faith is not to take out a terrorist overseas. It's to take out, come on, the seductress who's in the cubicle next to you. That's threatening your marriage. That's threatening your security. That's threatening your home more than some guy with a bomb. Do you understand? Sometimes it's taking out the old habit, the old lifestyle, the old nature, the old character and going, I've got to fight a good fight of faith. And there is a warrior in me and there is a victory worth winning. This is what Thomas Edison said. He said, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Many of us don't realize we're right there. Well, how many times do we resist because we're familiar with stuff around us? Because in order for God to, to restore, He's got to change some things about you. A lot of us, we don't like change. You know what? This is your day of victory. If you say, I really need the help of God to step into this amazing life He has for me. I want you to just hold it behind. I want to pray if with you right you, now. I'm just going to ask you to say this prayer with me. Just say, Jesus, I need you. God, I surrender to you. My life, everything I am, everything I have, and everything I'll ever be. And I trust you. I trust what you've done to show me the way. Save me from myself. Save me from my past. Save me from every wrong decision. Set me free from any lie that I believe that has kept me down, kept me in bondage, kept me from becoming what you call me to be. I trust in you today as my Lord and Savior. And I thank you from this day forward. With your help, I will walk the way of Christ. I trust in you now. Fill me with your spirit and give me a new way to approach life in faith. In Jesus' name.